It doesn't matter how hard you try or what tools you use, you cannot destroy or create matter. Yeah, but what if I use like a really big hammer? Nope, you cannot destroy nor create matter. Yeah, but what if I use like a really big hammer? I mean like a really big hammer. No, like I said, cannot destroy, cannot create matter. No, 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 I understand. But like, what if you use a real- Stop. If you say like a really, really big hammer, just stop. Like a gigantic hammer. You can't! Now the law of conservation of matter states that matter can neither be created nor destroyed. In the last episode, we talked about how the states of matter can change back and forth amongst each other. These are called phase changes. Now we need to talk about that even when they change their states of matter, the amount of matter still stays the same. It stays the same. Now, this chocolate, for example. If I take this pot, and get a scale, take the chocolate, put it inside, 66 grams. Now let's add some heat to this so we can change this solid into a liquid. Melting! We can see if the 66 grams stays the same when it changes from a solid to a liquid. Fire! Oh, I can smell it. it smells so good. Let's get our mitten on. Is all. Sixty-six grams. All right, so pause. Time out. We need to look at why exactly it's sixty-six grams when it's a solid, and still the same when it becomes a liquid. Check this out. When the solid melted by increasing the amount of energy, it became a liquid. Now you can see here the particles starting to move around because the energy is increasing. But if you notice, the particles aren't just disappearing. They're just moving around, getting further away from each other, becoming a liquid. This all goes back to matter neither being created nor destroyed. Even though it changed from a solid to a liquid, the particles are all still there. The amount of matter doesn't change. The particles just move further away from each other. Now for the most important part of this experiment, we need a skewer, marshmallows, and graham crackers. Now, if you didn't think I was going to use this as an opportunity to make some s'mores, you obviously don't know me that well. S'mores are the most important part of science. Mm. Come on. There's a common misconception that people think when you have a full glass of ice water, eventually the ice will melt and could cause the glass to overflow. Let's put that to the test. So we take our glass. We're just gonna put it there. Oh, maybe right here that looks, yeah, that's a little bit nicer. I'm gonna put in some ice. I'm gonna fill it with water all the way up to the brim, just about there. Eh, let's add a little bit more. Now we wait until the ice melts. Time goes by. Eventually all the ice melts. And look, the glass has not overflowed. In fact, the water level is exactly the same because the ice did not gain or lose particles. They just moved around a little bit. All right, so let's recap. When the states of matter go through a phase change, the amount of matter still stays the same. Matter can neither be created nor destroyed. Sounds pretty good. Now, if you don't mind, I have a very important science experiment to get back to, and I need to check on my results. I might have to do the experiment again, you know, just to make sure my data is correct. All right. See you next time. Goodbye, beautiful people. Hmm?